Hi, today we're going to be talking about small arms ammunition. There are three main types. Shotgun shells, handgun cartridges, and rifle cartridges. All are composed of four basic components. The casing, the primer, the propellant, and the projectile. The first component is the casing or shell. In rifle or handgun cartridges, the casing is made out of metal, whereas the shotgun shell is generally made of a metal base with a plastic hull. The casing is the main component of the cartridge, which holds all the other major components together in close proximity and in one unit. The primer is a small metal cup which contains a charge of impact sensitive high explosive. This provides a small spark which ignites the main charge of gunpowder. Modern smokeless powder can be made with a variety of burn rates. This is vital to know when loading ammunition as to what the burn rate is of the powder you have. The powder for the handgun cartridge is fast burning, whereas the powder for the shotgun shell is a moderate burn rate and the powder for the rifle cartridge is a relatively slow burn rate. These three powders cannot be substituted in the other cartridge. A charge of the pistol powder in the rifle cartridge would cause the rifle to catastrophically fail due to high pressures, whereas rifle powder in a handgun cartridge will probably result in excessively low pressure and the bullet very likely getting lodged in the bore. Modern rifle cartridges tend to use a small projectile behind a large charge of powder to accelerate to high velocity. This necessitates the cartridge being bottlenecked to allow for the large powder charge to be held inside the casing. Handgun rounds generally employ a large caliber heavy bullet behind a small powder charge. Thus the casings are generally straight walled and relatively short. The shotgun shell uses multiple projectiles held in a shot cup propelled by a modest amount of fast burning gunpowder. This is a turret style reloading press which I shall use to demonstrate the loading process of a round of ammunition. It has several stages. A set of four dies, a decapper to extract the old primer from the casing, a sizing die, a priming arm, a priming dispenser, a powder dispenser which dispenses a pre-selected weight of powder, and the seating die which uses to seat the bullet. A single ram is used to, ra to hold the casing and raise and lower the casing into position. D-prime, size, Dispense primer, seat primer, powder charge, bullet seating. One completed round. The process can then be quickly repeated. D prime, size, dispense primer, seat primer, powder, bullet, bullet seat.